Uh, thanks. Thank you for having me. So we've been asking people across the country today, who has been the most pleasant surprise on this BYU team? For you, Coach, who has been the most pleasant surprise among your personnel? Um, both you talking about my group or all, all everybody? You can go anywhere you want with that question. Well, I've been pleasantly surprised with uh, you know obviously Tanner. You know I, I knew before he left on his mission that uh, you know we were able to have a glimpse into what he's capable of doing in that spring. You know, and uh, got a great arm, strong arm, and uh, very intelligent. You know, plays a lot of poise, and and then even when Taysom. Um, was injured, you know, I, I had no doubt, you know, that he was going to go in and he was going to surprise a lot of people. And so it, it's been pleasant to watch him and, and his uh, progress. How about from your group, the defensive line? Uh, you know, you know, we're down in the trenches. Nobody cares about what we're doing. So, <laughs> we care, Steve. I, you know, I tell, I tell my players, hey, we're, we're the no-name guys here. You know, we do our job here and don't be looking for any uh, sympathy or you know, pat in the back, you know, that's that's what we do down there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I got a bunch of great guys, you know. Uh, you know, Logan has stepped in nicely to play, replace the Travis to Loma. Uh, you know, he's played nose before, and what we try to do is train, cross-train those big guys so they can either play in nose position or, you know, an end position. And so he's done in both, so he can play anywhere, just like Graham Rowley, you know, he can do either too. Uh, you know, and then we have young Kesney, who you know came in a freshman last year after mission. Uh, you know, he's coming along nicely, and we got a young freshman right now, Tavita. You know, who's coming along nicely. But you know, every one of those guys, and you know, has a role. And so each each week, uh, you know, in, in their preparation, you know, trying to move them around a little bit so they can feel comfortable to play any of those positions. That Bronson kid you have is pretty good too. He's all right. Yeah, uh, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, you bring up Travis Tuiloma. He tweeted out that he might be able to play. He's hopeful that he can play against Michigan. Will Travis play against the Wolverines on Saturday? Yeah, that's what we're shooting for right now. Yep, and, it, you know, it looks good. So, you know, everything depends on, the, you know, the, our trainers and our doctors evaluating. Him. So, you know, obviously there's uh, protocols and tests that he has to pass before we can actually uh, move forward with that. But, you know, this was a week that we were shooting for. He, is, he has made a big difference in the defense, and it's interesting because he might not even come up with a tackle, but he yeah. – explain what he does for those that don't uh, understand what well, the nose you know, tackle is. He, well, you know, he's playing the zero technique, which is, you know, nose guard, your head up on the center. And his job is, uh, you know, to play both of those A gaps, you know, between the, the center and the guards. And, and he does a great job of just physically manhandling the center. You know, you would have to – I always tell Travis, look, you know, you got to demand a double team. Once you do that, then they know that they have respect for you. And so that's what he's, he's, uh, he's capable of doing. And, uh, you know, he's playing great, doing a great job and playing great versus uh, Nebraska. You know, and so, yeah, we do miss him, but it's uh, an opportunity for young guys to step up, you know, and, and uh, find a bigger role when somebody's absent. So, uh, yeah, definitely, Travis, we, we're looking forward to getting him back. Defensive line coach Steve Kafusi with us on BYU Sports Nation. I know that the disappointment of losing at UCLA was very real. Coach, we talked after the game. The team was very disappointed, but they seemed determined. How quickly yeah. did you turn the page to Michigan after that UCLA loss? Well, I always tell the kids, you know, Don Shula used to say, you know, you, you lose a game, you, you know, you got 24 hours of soak. Okay? When you report into work on Monday, it's over with. You know, we don't dwell on it. We might watch the film that morning and and get things corrected and stuff. But other than that, you know, you got to move on to the next game. You can't dwell on the pass. There's nothing you can do about it. But uh, it's unfortunate, you know. It's unfortunate that happened. And obviously the biggest thing there, we got a, we had a lot of missed tackles, you know. And, uh, you know, you know, and, and any, any of those big plays they had, you know, all we had to do was wrap up and tackle the guy. But it is what it is. So we move forward, and hopefully our, I know we're emphasizing a lot of that. And, uh, this week and uh, short tacklers, and so the kids know that what they need to work on. So, yeah, like, like I said, you know, you got to move on. 24 hours, wine, poor me, whatever, you know. But after that, you know, can show up with a smile on your face. Uh, it's a new day, and uh, you know, we look forward to the next game. So that's kind of my attitude, mindset going in each week. Coach, great stuff. We appreciate the time, and we wish you the best of luck in the big house. All right, thank you.